hello Southbridge. Welcome to Charlton Street. Looks familiar to most of you, I'm sure, with the iconic Sacred Heart Church in the background, and we have our senior high rise over on the corner. But for many of you, you might be wondering what's been going on. There's been a lot of changes recently, especially to this one building here, 45 Charlton Street. And today, we're gonna find out how this building here at 45 Charlton Street is aiding in the future of the youth of our community. So we're approaching this wonderfully historic building that's had a lot of changes recently. And this morning we're meeting up with Rob Caprera. Many of you know him, attorney here in Southbridge and jack of all trades. Uh, <laughs> Rob, nice to meet you. Great to nice see you. To see you Great again. Great to have you here. Thank you for having us here. And we are very excited to find out all that's going on with this project that's gonna do so much to impact the youth of our community. So today, Southbridge Community Television is going inside the Bridge of Faith Youth Center. Come on. Let's go. So Rob, we are now inside this building, which was a home, yes? A house yes, in the sorts? 1700s. It's an and, old one. And uh, you can see that evident by the beams and the structure that's here. It's, it's quite the amazing. Pegs. So tell us, the Bridge, Bridge of Faith Youth Center, what is it? Tell Bridge us. of Faith Youth Center is a faith-based mission to reach the young people in our community, but not necessarily only our community. Mm -hmm. It's focused for junior high and senior high to come and develop and be encouraged, to have a safe place, a lot of activities. You'll see as we walk through, I'm really excited as I've seen this home be renovated. It's just what we call phase one. Okay. Phase two, further north, is gonna be a full-size gymnasium. Right, we've seen the set of plans. So. And there's a, there's a lot involved in this project and a lot of people are, are participating in this project as well. So, the, so phase one will be completed approximately? We're hoping, we would love to be in to start September, this okay. school year, 2024. Oh, We're in the entrance, they come in, they do not pass go and collect $200. Multi-purpose room on the right, multi-purpose room on the left, tutoring. Nice. We have seven teachers who have already committed to us that they will volunteer tutor. The program's actually already gone on this fall, mm -hmm. uh, in the fall and spring at the library with yeah. tutoring. But they will come in and get their tutoring in the multi-purpose rooms. Mm -hmm. These are offices, they're counseling offices. There's two offices for that. So they're going to be working with tutors in these first rooms, maybe more specialized conference with mm -hmm. students in these rooms. Sure. So okay. that, that's kind of getting them in, all right? Okay. Uh, a lot of work being done here. A lot of work. We, we're finished with the rough wiring and we're almost finished with the rough that plumbing. Way. That's a big trench that's the sewer line going out for the for the mm -hmm. bathroom, so there's two bathrooms here. We have a lift that's been purchased that's sitting here that will go in this shaft to get to the second floor. Great. So everyone will be able to have access uh, disabled and otherwise. Mm -hmm. and these are the game rooms, social rooms, maybe ping pong or pool table, uh, gaming computers and the things that kids like. We obviously need to attract <laughs> them to come here to be able to help them. So that's what these rooms will be. Um, this, this wall right here will be gone. So if you recognize in the plans, this will be the continuing hallway to get into the cafeteria and the gymnasium. Um, the cafeteria will not be a full kitchen, it will be a warm prep kitchen, mm -hmm. but when the kitchen's there, we'll be able, with programs, feed the kids before they go home. We're pretty excited about that. Right. Yep. That's good. That's All right. wonderful. All right. Let's go upstairs. How about we go upstairs? Go upstairs. We've come up the stairs, and essentially we're standing over the entranceway where we started on the second floor. To my left in the corner is the recording studio. We're very excited about this room. It's gonna be fully soundproofed with uh, the highest tech inf uh, equipment to do recording. So bands, musicians, people can do oration, poetry, whatever they like to do, they can do in that room and have it recorded. This room to my left is the engineering room with the window, soundproof window, the mixing board, and all the, inf all the equipment will be in this room. 
To my right is the video studio. And in the video studio, we'll have green screen capabilities and the recording, and the students could have a podcast if they want. We know it's a skill to be able to speak yep. in front of people. They can come practice here. Absolutely. All right, so All right. that's that. That's the where the lift is going to be. Yep. Uh, the executive director's office in the back. Two bathrooms above the two bathrooms on the first floor. Mm -hmm. And then in the northeast corner of the building. Nice big room. This is my favorite room. This is the, the conference room. And it has capacity to hold 60 people. So meetings can be held here. Meetings from the community. Meetings from the students and a full library so they could come up here, where they could have quiet time and study time. And Very so, good, so thought out, nicely thought out. Yeah. Very good. Um, so now there's, there's a great outdoor area and there's phase two and phase three of this project. Phase, would, yeah. Would love you to show us around a little bit and kind of give us a, a layout of what the community can, can expect, what this, this community here, the neighborhood and all can expect from phase two and phase three. How about we go down and take a look and you can give us a, a bit of a more scope of, of what's happening on Good. the outside of the project. Good. Let's do it. Thank you. So Rob, we're outside. Could you give us the layout of, of where we stand and what's going to happen here? All right, behind us obviously is Charlton Street. We've come out of this entrance. That's where we met. And now we're looking at the east side of the building. It's everything that you'd expect with 1700s. If you look in the wall, it's stacked stone underneath. We're, we're now doing rough plumbing, so it's a matter of pulling the pipe out to the, to the line. But this so what is- What has been, a, I mean, as far as the construction part of it, anything else that has been a surprise to you here in, in developing this building and in, in trying to get this renovation where it needs to be? You know what the surprise is? It's a 1700s building, then we're down in the flats. There's been two floods, 38 and 55, mm -hmm. and this building survived. I've seen numerous pictures of triple-deckers floating, floating down, down through the yeah, intersection yeah. of McCain, right over here, and this thing has survived. Yeah, so it's got good bones. It's got good strong bones. Yes. With strong pegs. Okay. So let's talk about funding a little bit. Um, you've gotten uh, some partners in this to start off with. Um, you mentioned originally we know that you got some ARPA money and such. Tell us a little bit about the funding to, to start this, kickstart this program. All right, it starts with a vision. Vision was the past dressed upon Carrasco uh, to have a youth center. They actually had a youth center operate in 2011 in a storefront on Main Street. It went 18 months. So funds were raised by private donors, some who allowed us to make their identity public, others who would prefer not to, and then the opera funds. And then we have been raising money by selling bricks in the, in the foyer of the gymnasium as they come in at the drop-off. Mm -hmm. There will be a whole wall of these bricks. These sell for $250, this sells for $1,000. They're printed, they're very actually, logos can be printed on, I think they're laser carved or something. Yeah, very nice. Uh, and we're intending to have a whole wall of bricks. Mm -hmm. So presently we're selling bricks. If people want to help, buy a brick. Wonderful. Well, you certainly laid out uh, quite, quite a vision. And I think our viewers now have a, a much more open idea as to what's happening here. And uh, the information to reach out if you are interested in being part of this for our Southridge community. And we can't thank you enough for allowing us to bring this message out to the community. I can't thank you enough uh, well, for this to happen. Enjoy your wonderful day, Rob. This is Denise Clements with Southridge Community Television. Thank you for watching and, you know, support the youth of our community. Thank you.